Welcome to Namecom Solutions 2026 is upon us and I am back in Europe. I was back in the US for a little bit. You probably saw a few videos if you follow along here or other social media platforms. But today we're going to talk about the reality of mesh radios and some of my emergency communications or MCOM goals for 2026. And I would like to you to share some of your goals down below. We'll get a little more into that later. So the truth here is there is no mesh radio or any radio for that matter that can solve all your communications problems. There's tons of magic behind the curtains and here in, you know, today, 2026, you know, since cellular networks have, have developed over the years, we've grown accustomed to thinking that I can buy one device and it can you know, pretty much do everything I wanted to do anytime, anywhere with, yes, many exceptions to that rule, depending on where you're at. Uh, you know, you could definitely be in a very rural environment where there is no cellular coverage or things like that. However, the mass majority of people live in these populated areas where they have great coverage and they can do all the things they want to do on one fancy little expensive device. Now, but we have seen regular disruptions over the last several years now. And if you're into communications or into emergency communications at all, you have made that step to realize that there is a lot of um, concerns over how fragile centralized networks are. So when I talk about radios that can't solve all your problems in one radio, typically talking on the decentralized side, meaning they don't have a vast or any infrastructure in place, centralized infrastructure for that matter, that is required to be in place for those radios to be able to communicate from point A to point B, whatever. Now, with a centralized systems like a cellular network, AT&T in the US is kind of an estimate, but their total operating expense for per year is a hundred billion dollars. Now, you know, that includes employees and all everything uh, to include, you know, putting up new cell towers, maintaining current cell towers, upgrading cell towers, putting in fiber networks, you know, everything, all that magic behind the curtain. That's why when you pick up your phone, you know, depending on what carrier you have and where you're located at in the world, usually you just pick it up and dial a phone, send a message, watch your favorite YouTube channel, watch some reels, whatever it is you do mostly on your phone, because we don't use them a whole lot for <laughs> communicating anymore, um, scrolling, doom scrolling through social media, whatever that is for you, um, it's just available and it just works. Well, if you get into radios, whether that's a UHF, VHF, you know, BTEC UV Pro or a Elecro ThinkNode M1 from using MeshTastic or MeshCore, uh, whatever it is you're using, you have now taken a step into the world of realizing, okay, you have to understand, you know, the magic behind the curtain a little bit to be able to utilize them well and be able to communicate with those you want to communicate. And there is no way, even if you go out and buy a pair of these radios, that you're just going to have communications anywhere, whenever you want. That's just not how it works. That's why people in the communication space have multiple layers to their communications. They have things like maybe they have these, and then they have one of these, and then they have an HF radio for that over the horizon type communications because they're trying to build a robust decentralized communications network and that requires learning struggles and then even then <laughs> it doesn't always work so with all that aside what i'm trying to tell you is whether you got into mestastic mesh core or any of those others as just a hobby and now you realize that hey i can see the use of this because i understand how fragile centralized communication networks are, and I want to have a backup plan. Well, that's what this channel is for. That's what I've been trying to do. And I'm going to continue to try to do that as a YouTuber that has a very full-time job. And I do this on the side as for fun, for hobby. So, um, and I have lots of goals, so let's get into those goals. So 
for 2026, my basic three goals I'm going to break down for you are building resilient communications networks. And this is something I wanted to do from the beginning of the creation of this channel. When I move uh, my communications content from my Ravenwood Acres channel to MCOM Solutions. And how do you do that? Well, there's, there's more to building a network than just hardware, software, you know, all the whiz gadgets you can buy. It's people, right? People, because you're, you want to communicate with someone, right? So, <laughs> you know, you, you're not talking to dead air. You're talking to someone else and interviews. So I've done a few on this channel. I have one in the pipe. Don't have a set date for that. I think you guys will like that one. And I am going to reach out to more people in this space, mesh radio space, any communications type related content, decentralized content. Um, so I'm going to be reaching out to a few more. Hopefully I can get those on with a goal of about one a month. And then learning more and doing more of my own training. Now that I've gotten in a rhythm here where I'm my new location where I'm living, I'm trying to get out and actually do more field training and sharing some of that information with you guys because really things can work really well on paper, but when you go out in the field and actually try them, you might be disappointed with your results. So that's a part of the process. Next is continuing to build my knowledge on reticulum. I started that last year, then you know the last half of, well, no, about the last two months of 2025. And I'm still working on it. It kind of got put on a pause because of, you know, me traveling back to the U.S. for Christmas and New Year's. And now I'm going to get back into it. I want to launch a Nomad Net page and then produce more videos uh, walking people through common uses of reticulum and trying to break it down into the most layman way possible. And because a lot of the literature, particularly if you've ever looked into it, you'll realize that um, it's not easy to read for the average person or easy to understand. So as I work my way through that, I'm going to be producing more videos on that and showing the deployment of a few systems. That way, it you know, the proof is there that it, it can work and how it works. So then next, MeshCore. So learn more about MeshCore and employ a couple nodes here. Now, while I was back in the US, I did set up a companion node and a repeater node from my test platform for a little bit. I did decommission that platform with the intent to do some reconfigurations of it, and I ran out of time. So that's still sitting on the workbench back in, in Washington State. So next time I'm home, probably this summer, 2026 summer, I will try to get that set up and, and more uh, in a permanent infrastructure node set up just like I already have a mesh-tastic one set up on the roof of my home. So that is really the end of my goals. What I would really love you guys to do is share your goals, questions, you know, about what you want to do. It could be very basic because that helps me shape some of the content I create and focus it more on what people are looking for. Like, um, because some things may make, complete sense to me but they don't make sense to you and I can figure out a way to explain it to you in video content to help you better understand it. I have been doing this the the mesh radio part you know the mesh Jastic journey for three years three plus years now so um, I, I have learned a thing or two I don't know everything and to be quite honest I'm just like the rest of most of you just maybe a little bit more of a communication nerd than some but not all for sure. So, all right, let me know those comments down below. If you've appreciated what we do here, please subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up, check out our social media webs or sites linked down below, website, and much more. Thanks for watching.